Hey everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple online order form using our payment integrations, branching and logic, as well as a slightly more advanced tip, but I promise it's easy, on how to actually incorporate little images in the form itself. So let's jump right in. So let's just hop over into our form builder. And here I already included the form title and the description, which you can do in the form settings. But now we'll go and we'll actually start building the form. So we're gonna to go to add a field and we're gonna select a checkbox field. The checkbox field, if you remember, is actually what we use here for um, the customer to select the items they wanna purchase. So let's go ahead and make this which, oops, which item or items uh, do you want to purchase? And we only have two items available, so we just need two choices. And the first one is our stemless wine glass. And the second one is our stainless steel uh, water bottle. Great. And I'll come back and show you how to add the images in just a second. So let's go ahead and just save that. Okay. Uh, the next field, if you remember, when we click on this, then we see this pop up here. And this is how many wine glasses would you like? So this is our quantity field. Uh, and this only appears when they select these items. So this is where we use the branching and logic. But first, before we set up the branching and logic, we just wanna make sure that we have these fields created. So we're gonna go back here and we're gonna add dropdown fields for those quantities. So uh, here it will be how many wine glasses would you like and then we'll go down to our choices and say one two three or four great so let's go ahead and save that and then let's add one more drop down for the water bottles so how many uh, water bottles would you like and then again we'll give them the option of one two three or four and we'll save. Okay, the next fields that we need to add are name, email address, phone number, and a shipping address. So we'll go over here, and we'll just use our pre-made fields, make it nice and easy, email, phone, and address. Perfect. So now we have all of our fields in place. So now we can go ahead and actually start adding the images, the price and uh, the payment integration and the branching and logic. So let's hop back over here and let's start with the images. So the images is a slightly advanced tip because we are gonna use just a tad bit of HTML, but I promise you it's very, very easy. So the first thing we need to do to add an image is we actually need to have the image stored somewhere. So with Wufu, we offer a file manager where you can actually store files. Um, however, you can also use something like Dropbox or Google Drive uh, as well. But I'm going to go ahead and use our file manager since I already have our images stored here. So what I'm actually going to do is I need to get a URL that goes to the stored image. So if I click on this little more option and then click on get link, now I have a link that uh, goes directly to this image file. However, the link is pretty long if we look at it, and our choice fields have a max character limit. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna hop over to bit.ly, which is a link shortener, and I'm gonna shorten the link. So see this long URL? I'm gonna click on shorten, and look how much shorter it is. So now I'm gonna copy that link. We're gonna come back into our form manager. And here's where we do a little bit of HTML. Uh, so to add an image in HTML, we're gonna do image source. So IMG space SRC equals quotations. And then we're gonna paste that URL in, close the quotes and close the image tag. Now, right when I close that image tag, you can see this image appear, but it appears side by side and I don't really like how that looks. So we're just gonna add a break in the HTML as well, a line break. So that forces the image below. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the stainless steel water bottle. So I'm gonna go back to the file manager. I'm gonna get 
the URL for the water bottle image. I'm going to hop over to bit.ly and shorten that URL, give it a copy. And now we're going to do the same thing. So I know I want to include a break and then image source equals quote, paste the URL, close the quote and close the tag. And there we can see the water bottle image pop in. Very easy. Okay. So now let's go ahead and save our form. And let's just take a peek at what it looks like. Great. So now we want to add the branching and logic for the quantities, right? I don't want these quantities to appear unless someone selects one of the items. So to hide these fields unless selected, we're going to go to add branching and logic here under field settings. And now we're going to create a field rule. So a field rule allows us to show or hide specific fields based on the rules that we set. So if the stemless wine glass checkbox is selected, is checked, then we want to show how many wine glasses would you like? And then we need to do the same thing for the water bottle. So if the water bottle is checked, then we want to show how many water bottles would you like? So let's go ahead and save that. And let's hop back over into our form. So let's see what that looks like now. So I'm just going to hop back over and refresh this. And now you can see that those two fields disappeared. But if I click on this, then this appears and asks how many wine glasses would I like? Or I deselect it, it goes away. If I select this, the water bottle question prompts. If I deselect it, it goes away. Or I can even select both of them and they'll both appear. And then we can see how we can select our options. But if I select the options, there is no total adding up yet. And that's because we haven't set up the payment part of this form. So let's do that next. So to set up the payment integration, we're going to go and actually click on the button that says payment integration. So I'll go ahead and save to click on that. And now we can set up the payment integration. So we offer integrations with a bunch of different uh, uh, payment processors. I'm going to go ahead and just use PayPal because I already have an account set up, but you can use Stripe, Square, um, WorldPay, Authorize.net, so forth. So. I have my PayPal account here set up. So what we need to do here is we need to set the base price first. The base price is pretty much just going to be zero because that is if nothing is selected, we're not going to charge any money. So we're building from the base price. But now what I want to do is I want to assign prices to specific fields, right? So I'm not going to assign prices to which items do you want to purchase because it's not the item that they want to purchase, but it's the quantity of that item that we want to associate a price with, right? So I'm going to select here, how many wine glasses would you like? And when I do that, I see a price for each one of the options that are in that drop down menu. So let's say one wine glass costs $15. That means two wine glasses will cost $30 three will cost $45 and four will cost $60. So now we have the price inputted for the wine glass. We also need to do the same thing for the water bottles. But you know what, the water bottles are a little bit cheaper. So let's make it $10 for one, 20 for two, 30 for three, 40 for four. Great, so now we set up the prices with the payment. So let's hop back over to our form and let's see what this looks like now. So if I want to buy wine glasses and I want one, oh look at that, $15 total, but let's say I want three wine glasses. Now we see $45 and I also want two water bottles. And now that adds $20, giving us a total of $65. And that's it. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to 
uh, reach out to our amazing support team or leave them in the comments.